What's up legends? So as you may know, we have failed our Tibet major order, but did just get reordered to go up against finally conquering the Malevolent Creek. So today I figured I'd make somewhat of a guided run for dealing with automatons, given some pointers here and there, which are actually very easy to deal with once you get the hang of how they work. So we'll be talking through that as we go on with the game here. We're going to be spawning here on the extraction zone. For stratagems, my pick of choice is always the rocket pods for those tanks, auto cannon for pretty much everything, and the 500 kilo bomb as well for tanks and other big tanky armored units. For primary weapon, we're not using the breaker, that's for my bug loadout. We'll actually be using here the scorcher as well as the stun grenade. The scorcher can two to three hit a strider without actually having to get behind it, which is already a huge difference maker. On top of that, the Scorcher is also amazing at dealing with Berserkers. Pretty much every uh, every automaton in the game, really. It's, it's one of the best choices. Uh, I would say it's better than the Slugger, which uh, is probably the second best choice in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, we started here on the extraction zone because sometimes there are factories that form for some reason surround the extraction point. So I wanted to start on the extraction point so I could get rid of that initial factory so we didn't have to deal with it later on. But uh, in this game, as we can see here, there is no factories inside of the extraction point. So we can go ahead and move on here to the first primary objective. Be getting in here quite aggressive. Looking to see if I can spot any side objectives. Generally, you don't want to play very aggressive against the automatons, but uh, personally, I think I, I've built uh, decent enough confidence to go up against the automaton fairly aggressive. But yeah, generally, you want to be playing kind of stealth. We will do that later on in this game. But first, I'm gonna take these bots on pretty aggressively here for the first objective. The stun grenades are also amazing for dealing with berserkers, by the way. The stun grenades have been a fantastic addition for automaton play. They can completely stun hulks, which just make it extremely easy for dealing with them. And since you don't need impact grenades to get rid of striders, thanks to the Scorcher, then the stun grenade becomes an amazing addition. Last reload. Oh, didn't mean to pick up the arc thrower, meant to pick up the ammo there. So as always, against automatons, always about tactically retreating. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. You want to constantly be falling back, giving yourself enough distance to deal with the bots and take the fight how you want to rather than how they want to. This is why the Scorcher is amazing. Ready? Bam! Down goes the Strider. Fantastic. Fantastic choice. If you guys haven't unlocked the Scorcher yet and are struggling with the automatons, I definitely recommend going for it. You see, they're not very good in this situation. Shooter devs can actually take... Not if I stun them, but yeah. Shooter devs can take quite a bit of Scorcher shots. But when you go up against Shooter Devastators, which are actually called Heavy Devastators, you'll actually want to use your Auto Cannon rather than the uh, Scorcher to deal with them. The auto cannon is going to be your primary choice for for hulks, factories, tanks, basically the big guys, and and heavy devastators, of course. Scorcher pretty much goes up against everything else, leading us to have a very balanced loadout that can take on pretty much any sized unit. Hulk. Missed, missed, missed. Okay, that landed, I think. No, okay, that the last one landed there for sure, because he got staggered there. 
I just need to land one more because it's two shots to kill a Hulk. Oh, nope. What? Oh, okay. No, that got scary. I don't know how I missed some of those there. Slowly falling back towards my resup. Oh. Slowly falling back to my resupply here as they push me back. As I said, you don't want to hold your ground against automatons. You're, you want to be flexible in movement. Holding your ground is not really going to work as a solo player. As a group player, yes, for sure, you'll have enough firepower to hold your ground. But as a solo player... See you. you need to know when to fall back. I'm testing out this new uh, e-binding that somebody recommended in the YouTube comments of actually um, binding the stratagem menu to the mouse button. Actually working quite well. It allows me to call a stratagem as I run as well. Being quite interesting. So I'm testing that out in this game. I, it's my first time doing it. Which is why you'll see me every time I open the stratagem menu, you'll see me sprinting. <laughs> it's because they're bound to the same key. Alright, let's just sit, wait here for the generator. We see the radar station there all the way in the back. Let me... rid of these guys and then pull the generator and get the hell out of dodge so yeah honestly i'll tell you guys the truth i think nowadays as i'm getting more and more used to automatons and i'm sure you guys will too automatons actually feel easier than bugs you just kind of need to know how they work the thing about automatons is you just can't play as aggressive as you can against bugs and you need to retreat relentlessly with no fear and a lot of fights just aren't worth taking like probably this one which does lead to less combat all oh, right i don't have the grenade ah oh, screw it i'm just gonna leave that there i don't need uh samples although we could have metals in there huh ah oh, screw it we're making our way here towards the radar station. Uh, radar station. Oh, you know what? No, we got to prioritize here the detector tower. So this is how we're going to deal with this detector tower. Fairly easy, right? So we're not carrying here that it's calling for bot drops. We're just sprinting right at it. We're going to toss a 500 kilo bomb right on it. And we're going to get the fuck out of dodge. The bot drops will come and will spawn where I was but we're not going to the radar station now because since they called the bot drop to where I was then there's likely a crap ton of bots surrounding that radar station so we get rid of that detector tower and we go do something else and then we'll come back for the radar station afterwards so that's the big thing about automatons as well you just need to know just when to leave just get the hell out and go do something else and then you can come back later on when the uh when the enemy count has dwindled when they kind of left and went elsewhere or despawned i'm not exactly sure so in this situation just get out Go do something else. You'll see when we come back here to the radar station right after this objective. It won't be full of automatons just waiting for us. We'll go here for the launch codes. We also got the super rare simple uh, rock there, but uh, I'm not going to make my way there. Our focus is to win. Do all side objectives, all main objectives, as well as successfully extracting. That's our focus of this game. All right, let's see if I can climb up here. This actually kind of looks like I could. Nope. Oh, come on. 
All right, we're probably gonna be facing quite a lot of bots here. So let's uh, slowly work our way in. Can you guys break that fence for me? Somebody shoot a rocket at me. This is in my way. Ooh, thank you. There's a rocket devastator. Oh, gotta be careful with that. He goes down. Got a group here to my right. Use these containers here on my left to cover me as I deal with the group to my right. How'd you like the taste of freedom? Oh, we got a Hulk. Retreat, retreat. He's got an angle on me. Oh no! Damn it. Dude, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Heavy Devastators are probably the most difficult bot in my opinion. I used to think the Rocket Devastators were bad, but these guys... They're bad. They're annoying. So this is where the stun grenade shines, right? Look at this. <laughs> That's it. That's a Hulk down. All it took was a grenade. Beautiful. We got a bot drop coming though. I gotta get rid of this uh, heavy devastator before he gets rid of me again. See if we can get a couple free kills here. I think I got a rocket devastator off the ship. A hit. One more. Bam. Down goes the hole. Alright, we should be clear here. Oh no. Bad reload place. I thought I got rid of the Rocket Devastator, but I guess I didn't. Should be clear here to get in and get the launch codes. Oh, you're still alive, aren't you? Alright. So these bots are just kind of chilling here. We're not going to worry too much about them. We'll get the launch codes and get the heck out of Dodge. Let's get here a couple more samples, I guess, since it's free. Just chilling here. Alright, now we're going to go back to the radar station that we wanted to clear out earlier. We got a patrol group right in front of us, so what we'll do... Just avoid fighting. This is honestly the way to go against automatons. I don't think they... How did they not spot me? I was right in front of them, okay. But yeah, that's the thing about automatons as well, guys. They lose track of you extremely easily. They will lose track of you super, super easily. Dropping a pin, southeast, 100 meters. They're they're actually pretty dumb. They're actually pretty dumb. They'll lose track of you so easily. Yeah, okay, I think we got a rocket devastator here. I want to see if I can get rid of him first. Oh, there's another one. Say hello to democracy. Oh yeah, I want to shoot the ground on this guy. Because he explodes if you shoot him directly. He could have killed me there. But if you shoot the ground, they just... Oh, they just fall on their feet. And you're good. Okay, so we should use the autocannon against these guys, right? I've been using the Scorcher, but you really shouldn't. Autocannon, two shots, gets rid of a shoot the Devastator. And that's the thing, once you kind of get rid... Uh, once you kind of figure out all the little counters to all the little bots... And you understand how they work as far as detecting you goes and losing you goes. It actually becomes extremely easy. I do genuinely believe automatons are easier to deal with. Yeah, with automatons, you'll be wanting to do a couple of things differently. Uh, I do believe side objectives are even a bigger priority than the ones on the bug side of things. You know, shit like detective towers, anti-air emplacement, stratagem, jammers. Like, you'll want to get rid of all of those before you really focus on doing all the main objectives. Because those are actually extremely disruptive. I feel like some of the bug ones can be ignored. The automaton ones, yeah. You should probably get rid of them on site. Let's see what side objectives we got. Oh, they're all bunched up at the top right. 
We got a CF artillery, illegal broadcast, and I believe that's an anti-air emplacement. Quite easy. And now we just sprint all the way there. And the best thing I recommend, right, is using this armor set that I'm using, the scout armor set. And you can just pay attention to the red dots on the minimap and just avoid it. You kind of just dodge the red dots. Dealing with automatons becomes very, very easy. Got a lot of red dots here. I think it's that little glitch where a bunch of uh, small bots group up for no reason. Yep. <laughs> Let's go shoot them. Why not? Ruin their meeting. What are you guys doing here, man? These forests are mine. Mag's empty. Get some. Get All right. some. Oh, There's one more still. There you go. All right. Uh, let's make here, make our way here to the CF artillery. It should be quite useful for us. If we remember to use it, I always forget to use it. These are also pretty easy to do. Grab all the shells, bunch them up before you toggle the terminal. You should be good to go. I'll still probably end up facing about one or two groups here as we're loading up the uh, artillery. They should be... Nope. Dude, they gotta do something about auto-climbing. <laughs> I really wish auto-climbing wasn't a thing in this game. I wish you kind of had to press a button to climb. Throws me off all the time. Yeah, what about you guys? Do you guys think that uh, automaton games are harder than permanent games? I feel like it's the type of thing that it looks it looks extremely menacing. It looks very scary. But the more you kind of get the hang of how the bots work, the easier you realize. The more you realize that they're actually quite easy to deal with. Their patterns are a lot easier to understand as well. Bugs have a lot of uh, inconsistencies, let's say. Bots don't have as many. Do here with the Hulk first. Always deal with the Hulks first. One shot. Two. Down goes the Hulk. Focus on the Devastators next. Got another one. We can reload here behind this box. Ooh. Almost came back at me. Should do it. I think we need. Do we need two more shells? Or one more shell. Two more shells, I think, right? We got three, four here. Oh, we got a whole group coming. We got multiple patrols coming. Why didn't it call my... Uh... Oh, I'm getting jammed. Okay. Oh, I think I'm in range of the anti-air emplacement. That's why. I think that got rid of a couple of uh, devastators. It's all about using cover here. Poking them apart one by one. It shouldn't be much of an issue. I've been trying the Quasar Cannon as well a lot against Automatons, but they just they simply aren't as good as the Auto Cannons. Oh. oh, no way, dude. That was a bad move by me. 
I've requested this before, but Arrowhead, please give us a booster that reduces flinch, please. Flinch in this game is insane. Either that or they should make it so that heavy armor has less flinch. Somebody in the comment section once brought that up and that's honestly a pretty good point. Heavy armor as it stands in my opinion is just not worth it. But I think if they reduced the flinch if you're using heavy armor, I feel like that would be a huge tempting point. A huge selling point to use... Uh, heavy armor against automaton seriously no I want the explosives first we'll leave the mini nuke for last probably won't use these I mean I always forget to use them anyways you see that look at these little bots right they're blind as shit I'm telling you. Autom so yeah, automatons, are, they're really just... They're pretty dumb. Once you actually realize how blind they are and how deaf they are, you actually come to realize that they're very easy to deal with. Automatons, though... No, wait, let me just... Get rid of that. The thing about automatons is that uh, they just have those one-hit rockets, right? They have those one-hit rockets. They have those units that just explode in your face. They have charging hulks that can pretty much one-hit you. So that can be annoying and very deadly. But other than that, automatons really aren't uh, that much of an issue to deal with. By the way, these you don't have to shoot the heat sink with the auto cannon. You can just shoot them dead on. Should be one more to go, I think. Yeah, one more to go. Okay, two out of three. Right, I can't use stratagems, of course, as they're blocking my stratagems. Ow. Where is this third one? Oh, there it is. Bam. That's it. We get the fuck out of dodge now. And uh, I believe that's all the side objectives that we have now completed. And also, Malevolent Creek is good for this, right? We just lose them in the woods, boys. Run into the woods. And they'll lose ya. Isn't it kind of crazy how scary Helldivers actually are? Someone pointed that out on Reddit the other day. Helldivers are crazy, dude. They just walk in, blow up an entire base full of automatons and get the fuck out. All on their own. It's insane. We're the truly scary enemies, dude. Let me see if I can creep up here. There's usually a couple of small guys protecting fuel as this one right here. Oh, doesn't go through that. Awkward. Hopefully none of them will call for a bot drop. These guys, they can be scary. They explode if you shoot them. Oh! Okay. Does a stun grenade actually kill? Oh no, yeah, I think that, that just made the little guy blow up and that's why they died. Okay, since you're stuck there, buddy, can you stand still for me? The fuck? Stand still. Stop it! What are you doing? 
God damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're good. Should be able to complete this before roll arrives, hopefully. Go ahead and turn the first one. What? Oh, right. Forgot there's the little, the little puzzle before we can start turning them. Okay. Yeah, the other thing about automatons is they actually have fairly easy to deal with uh, units as well. Pretty much all of their units are very easily killed. They're just pretty deadly with, the, with their RNG rockets, but... Honestly, other than that, automatons don't have too much going for them. Finish that objective, get the hell out of dodge, let's run into the ICBM, and we're going to be extracting the game, we're going to be calling in for extraction once we uh, complete everything, we're not going to be waiting down the timer, we'll just be calling it in, and I'll show you guys how to very easily extract without even getting close to, to dying. Unless you get unlucky, of course. Yeah, mostly with, with automatons, it should be pretty clean to uh, run from point A to point B without anybody really stopping you. The bugs have a lot more scouts going around, it feels like. Get rid of these little guys. I think they're protecting the entrance to the ICBM. Oh no, they call for a bot drop. Not good. I think I'll deal with this bot drop, why not? Come here. See if I can stun them all. The stun grenade is actually insane, isn't it? How long they were stunned for? Oh no, dude! The suicide bomber. I hate those kamikaze guys. Yeah, that's pretty much the biggest threat from automatons. Just kamikaze guys and the uh, random rockets. Other than that, <laughs> if you can minimize those types of deaths, then you're pretty much good to go for dealing with automatons. But if you hug this rock right here, you should be able to just run into the ICBM. Nobody really spots you. And you can do the entire ICBM without even being spotted, which is quite nice. I thought it was quite weird that they gave us a major order for clearing out the Malevolent Creek, seeing how the Malevolent Creek is already at 90 plus percent. Is it just me or do they want us to win? Maybe they, uh, maybe they got something in store once we do win. I don't know. They pretty much gave us a free major order here, I feel like. Should be done within a couple of hours. 
by the time most people even see this video, Malavern Creek will probably already be liberated. I'll make sure to do my part. You guys do yours. And we're all good, baby. They're pretty much dealing the automatons is pretty much just this man it's uh it's also why i don't really upload too much uh automaton videos is um you know there's a lot of stealth play there's a lot of avoiding engagements you know automatons is really just about knowing when to fight knowing when to extract you know whereas with uh bugs you can actually take a much more proactively aggressive approach where you just constantly engage and you're constantly fighting and it's a very effective strategy to do so with automatons though it's about knowing to keep your distance working your objectives really only killing the ones you have to oh they're coming right at me why are they coming at me who even spotted me i wonder what the heck they're actually coming all the way over here they're kind of late But yeah, what do you guys think from a viewer point of view? Do you enjoy watching automaton games or do you mostly prefer terminate games? Generally, I'll focus on terminate games as they offer more combat and a more constant action type thing. For automatons, I feel oftentimes there's a lot of uh, dead time since there just isn't as much combat as it's just not effective to do that. I'm thinking of keeping most of the gameplay mostly related to Terminids since there is more of a constant action type thing and maybe for automatons focus more on releasing wow that is a lot of bots focus more on releasing tips based type videos as uh as gameplays and automatons can be quite bland i feel like i don't know what you guys think Alright, we're gonna be going here into extraction mode. Pretty much gonna be extracting here for free. The automatons make extraction quite easy actually. As we've said a couple of times already in this video, they are quite dumb, blind, and deaf. <laughs> so you can pretty much call for an extraction, find a comfortable place to just kinda prone and remain stealth and you're good to go I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that here against bugs it's a lot harder they smell you out they sniff you out and they get you out of wherever you are but automatons you can hide very very easily all we gotta do here is call the extraction find a rock for us to hide behind we're good to go i'm not even going to resupply here i was thinking of resupplying in case i get caught but i don't think we need it we just kind of go to the edge here of the extraction point should be about here oh these green little things do damage to you i keep forgetting that find a nice little rock to hide behind and it's chilling time now we just kind of keep our eyes on the minimap and if a group of bots kind of makes their way towards us we try to throw a grenade to kind of distract them away sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't with the whole nade distraction thing i don't know exactly 
what it is that makes it work sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. As we can see here, there's none of them even near me. Although that little patrol group there on the minimap does seem to be making their way towards me. Let's see if a grenade will maybe distract them. I think I'll let them get a bit closer. That kind of called their attention. But they didn't fall for it. They're still coming towards us. As we have this little, this nice little rock protecting us. We'll just use that as cover. And we should be good. It's good to know that they also walk in a linear path. They don't kind of scatter around and patrol everywhere. They kind of just take a linear path and follow it through. But once they're past us here, then we already know we're safe. And the Pelican one has already arrived. So this was a pretty easy, clean extraction. The entire mission was pretty clean. I mean, the only deaths we had, which actually we had three, were, you know, those rough one-hit mechanics. Or, well, in some cases, I just stood still like a moron and got shot by the shield devastator. <laughs> but other than that, the mission was pretty easy. Very, very easy to deal with. So yeah, I hope the video kind of helped you guys understand a little bit more how these automatons work. They're actually, as I said earlier, they're much more consistent than bots or than bugs. They're not as inconsistent. Uh, they have very fixed patterns and once you kind of grab the hang of them, they become very, very easy enemies. So get out there, boys, and let's liberate this malevolent creek. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be catching you boys on the next one. Peace!